Hello friends, this video on triangle and its properties part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Question number 3. Here also we will have to find out the value of x. So in the first diagram, so which is interior angle and which is exterior angle. So here in this case, these are the interior angles. This is interior, this is interior, this is also interior. But when you look at this 125 degree, this is an exterior angle. So again, we will make use of the exterior angle property. That is exterior angle is equal to sum of opposite interior. So opposite interior, one interior would be x. The other interior would be this angle. And what is this angle? So whenever you have an angle represented like this, it is nothing but 90 degree. So this would be x plus 90. Therefore, x will be equal to 125 minus 90. This is equal to 35 degrees. So the value of x is 35 degrees. Let's move on to the next one. So here you have an acute triangle where we see two angles are x. So this is also x, this is also x and this is 50 degree. So how can we find the value of x? So here we do not have any exterior angle given, all are interior angles. And we know that sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. So sum of three angles in a triangle is 180 degree. So we can write 50 degree plus x plus x is equal to 180 degree or we can say 50 degree plus 2x is equal to 180 degree or 2x is equal to 180 degree minus 50 degree. So 2x is equal to 180 minus 50 would be 130 degree or we can say x is equal to 130 divided by 2 which is 65. So the value of x is equal to 65 degrees. Question number 4. So here also we have a triangle where this angle is given as 90 degree. This is x and this is 2x. So here also we will say that sum of three angles of a triangle is 180 degree. x plus 2x plus 90 is equal to 180 degrees. So x plus 2x will be 3x plus 90 degree is equal to 180 degree or 3x is equal to 180 minus 90 which is equal to 90 degree or x is equal to 90 degree divided by 3. So 3, 3 is a 9, 0 therefore x is equal to 30 degrees. So we again move on to the next triangle where none of the values are given. It is said that all the angles are x. What does that mean? That actually means this is a triangle where all angles are equal. Can you tell me which is that type of triangle where all angles are equal? Exactly. This is nothing but an equilateral triangle. So what happens in an equilateral triangle? So in an equilateral triangle, all the sides are equal, all the angles are equal. However, the angle sum property will still remain the same. That is the sum of three angles will still be equal to 180 degrees. So this would be 3x is equal to 180 degree or we can say x is equal to 180 degree divided by 3. So 3, 6 is 18. So we can say x is equal to 60 degree. Therefore the measure of each angle of an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees. Question number 5. So here we have slightly more complicated figures but however they are also simple. So let us try to find out x and y. So first one, what do we see? We see that x, y and 50 degree. These three are the interior angles of the triangle. So as per the property of uh, triangle that is sum of the three angles is 180 degree. We can say x plus y plus 50 degree is equal to 180 degrees. Now looking at this scenario, what do you see? You see that this is a line, this is another line and they are intersecting each other and y and 80 degree, these are which type of angles? Do you remember which type of angles are they? They are nothing but vertically opposite angles, right? And we know that what vertically opposite angles are always equal. Therefore, we can say that y is equal to 80 degree. Now, since we know the value of y, so we can put y as 80 degree in this equation. So we get 80 plus 50 is equal to 180. So x plus 
130 degree is equal to 180 degree or x is equal to 180 minus 130 which is equal to 50 degree. So we get x is equal to 50 degree and y is equal to 80 degree. Let us look at the next one. So here again none of the values are given. It says that these angles are x and this angle is y. So here also we will make use of the same property. Which are the interior angles of the triangle? This angle, this angle and this angle. Now these two are vertically opposite angles. So here you have vertically opposite angles. So if this is x, this is also x. Similarly here also these two are vertically opposite angles. So here also you have vertically opposite angles. So if this is x, this is also going to be x. Now inside this triangle, which are the three angles? x, x and y. So the sum of three angles of the triangle will be equal to 180 degree. So x plus x plus y is 180 degree. Now when you look at this scenario, what do you see? These two are also vertically opposite angles. Therefore, we can say that x is equal to y or y is equal to x. They both are equal because they are vertically opposite angle. So instead of y, we can write it as x only because x and y are the same. So from this, we can say 3x is equal to 180 degree. So x is equal to 180 degree by 3, which is equal to 60 degree. So the value of x is equal to 60 degree. Then what would be the value of y? y is equal to x. So y will also be equal to 60 degree. So you see, making use of the same properties which we have learned before, whether it is vertically opposite angle or linear pair or sum of the three angles is 180 degree or exterior angle property. So you need to think about all the properties that you know and then you need to observe and calculate. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.